what do we know about a floating boat dock? And uh, since we know that, how does it tell us how to fish them? Good morning, guys and girls. October 2nd, October 2nd, reading from a Catch a Better Life book on the Catch a Better Life channel. About 30,000 folks are on here. If you are not subscribed to the Catch a Better Life channel on YouTube, please subscribe to it. We have three channels on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to all three of them. Jimmy Houston Outdoors Fishing and uh, Jimmy and Chris Houston's Twin Eagle Ranch. About 160,000 people total on all three channels. If you're a Facebook person, Jimmy Houston Outdoors, all capital letters on Facebook, over 661,000 people on that channel. Uh, October 2nd, reading from Matthew 5, 16, and it says, let your light, oh my goodness, yes, let your light shine before men. Be smiling, be happy, let your, let your light, let your eyes be bright. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father as in heaven. Let your light shine so they may see what you do good and that'll glorify God. That's exactly what that's saying in redneck terms. Here's what I wrote about that. The coldest day of practice that I can ever remember in bass fishing tournaments was at Smith Lake in Alabama, near Jasper, Alabama. Chris and I were staying with our longtime friend, Red, friend Red Berry, and on practice days, Red would launch us at daylight on a private ramp, and then he'd load us back out at dark. We didn't have to worry about even parking the truck or anything. He'd take our trailer, as a matter of fact, back to his house, right there close by his house. On the second day of practice in that tournament, it was 12 degrees Fahrenheit. That's right. 12 degrees. Freezing is 32. 20 degrees below freezing. The last thing that Red said when he put us in the water, he walked down there and he, before he, we, after he launched us, he got out of the truck and walked down there and said, if y'all get too cold, call me. I'll be right here. Call me. I'll be right here. Chris gave me one of those looks as I told Red, Red, we'll see you at dark. <laughs> we found a few fish that day. In fact, we found one little creek that we caught a few bass on, on a jig, a little jig and worm. On the final tournament day, the final tournament day with only two fish in the live well, the limit's five, only two fish in the live well, I eased my boat back into that last spot, the one we had found on that cold 12 degree day with only 30 minutes left to fish, 30 minutes left to fish. And I caught two really nice bass, you know, like two and a half, three pound bass. And with under a minute to go, like 20 or 30 seconds, I caught my last keeper on a red man spinnerbait out from under a floating boat dock, a floating boat dock. As I stood on stage, praising God, praising God, glorifying God for that last 30 minutes and the $10,000 check that it gave me, God was glorified. He was glorified because of Red Berry's good works. Red Berry letting his light shine before men, God was glorified. God was glorified. Thank you, Lord, for dropping those three fish out of heaven. I praise God. I thank Red Berry for what he did. Red Berry glorified God. God was glorified. Think about it. Think about it. How can you be glorified because of your kindness today? How can you be glorified by your kindness today? How can God be glorified by your kindness? Simple. Show a little kindness and see. Show kindness and see. Here's our tip for today. Fish will suspend under floating boat docks. That's right. We have boat docks that are floating up on uh, floats or pontoons. They're mostly black floats. They used to be styrofoam in the early days. Styrofoam is pretty much all gone. They're mostly those black, black floating floats. Bass will suspend under those. We also have boat docks that have um, uh, poles on them. The poles go all the way into the ground. While those are on lakes that don't fluctuate very much. Lakes that fluctuate very much and go up and down quite a bit, you have to have floating boat docks. The fact we know is that under floating boat docks, the bass and, and crappie and bluegill and everything will suspend under those. So we know that if we see a floating boat dock, there's probably some fish suspended under that dock. That lets us know how to fish them. We fish our bait up high right under those floats because the fish are suspended under it. Remember, most of the time you got to keep your bait above the fish in order to get a bite. Hardly ever will a fish go down and get your bait unless you're fishing right on the bottom. Most of the time under these floating boat docks, fish right under those floats, that's where you're going to get your bites. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. Fish lucky. And remember, golly, I sure do love you.